Hello. Today EHN Extra is talking to Lisa Ackerman. Lisa is Managing Director of Hygiene Audit Systems. Lisa's done a lot of media work. And I'm going to be talking to her about how to approach media. Could you tell us a bit about your background? When did you qualify in environmental health? Back in 1984, so really? some time ago, yes. Um, and uh, after qualifying I worked in local government. Then I moved on to go into teaching because I, I was passionate to sort of, um, spread my enthusiasm really about environmental health. How did your media work first come about? The first bit of media work I did was absolutely years ago. I can't remember the exact oh. date and it was with Neris Hughes from the Liver Birds. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and she worked on a programme called Bazaar which was daytime television and it was yeah. a sort of consumer programme. Yeah. Um, and she wanted me to show the viewers how to stack a fridge correctly. Really? <laughs> so that was my first How did she know about you? Where did she find you from? Do you know, I don't know that, really? uh, because obviously uh, this is some time before internet searches, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, it's possible she might have contacted the CIH. Okay. It was a bit different, I've never done it before, but having, having done some lecturing, you, know, yes. you, you, you actually get used to performing. And yeah. strangely, when I was a child, I was absolutely petrified of standing up in front of anybody. Yeah. And so if anyone had said to me when I was 12, you know, you're going to end up doing lots of television and radio work, I, yeah. would, I just thought, you must be joking. In 2008, you appeared in the uh, six-programme Rogue Restaurant series on BBC One. Can you explain your involvement in that? Um, well, what happened there was they... Um, they, they went out and did the undercover filming, so I had yeah. nothing, nothing at all to do with that. Right. Um, so basically they say, right, well, we're turning up, turn up to shoot, sit in the back of this van on a very uncomfortable bucket, yeah. um, and, uh, and we're going to show you the film for the first time. They wanted my immediate reaction, so okay. in many cases I had no idea what was coming. Lisa, so you don't see what's finally going to be broadcast, so how can you tell that it's going to be accurate? Sometimes I do get the opportunity, for example, I'm doing um, this new series that starts in July called okay. The Secret Tourist. Okay. Um, Is that a follow-on from the Rogue Restaurant series? It's, all, it's got Matt Allwright in it. BBC? Um, yeah, it's BBC One. Yeah. Um, but it's, it, it's not really a, a direct follow-on, but it's the same sort of genre. Do you think there is a place for a, a high-profile EHP in the media? I would like to, to do more because mm. I really do want to sort of help public health. Yeah, um, and, and television is the most powerful medium it is. by a mile, isn't it? It is. I mean, you know, I, I've, I've worked in lots of different areas, I suppose, you know, from, from local government to teaching environmental health practitioners yes. and in the private sector. Um, but you, you do feel that more people have a chance of, of listening to you. Um, yes. And so what I, what I really want to do is sort of explain things in a fun way, an interesting yes. way. Yes, yes. Um, so that people understand. That, that's the sort of company mission as well, that people, yes. we want people to understand why they need to do something yes. and what's wrong. Which medium do you prefer, Lisa? Well, it's difficult. I, I, I love live radio. I don't know why. Uh -huh. um, it's just really buzzy and you, yeah. you know, if you get the right, the right interviewer, it's, yeah. it's so exciting. I, I really do like that. Okay. And you don't have to dress up, you don't have to worry if yeah. your bum looks big in anything. <laughs>